I'm going to start this video on this guy. <laughs> Just because uh, it's late, I can't sleep. Uh, so I decided to come downstairs and play around a little bit. Um, somebody mentioned in a different video uh, about capacitors, Lego capacitors. And I remembered that at a show years ago, one of our hobby shows or um, toy train and doll shows, I spent a little bit of time modifying one of my go-karts and added a capacitor instead of um, a battery box to run the motor. Um, so uh, really, really quick. It's very easy. Uh, there's a capacitor. And there's a motor. Yes, I went with the 9-volt motor. Um, I don't know if the 4.5 works well off this capacitor. I have no idea. I, I do have a custom-made cable that takes the 9-volt adapter to the plug-ins to the 4.5. But this is easy and it's done. Um, so basically, you just remove the motor, <laughs> the, 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 the pistons. Um, I didn't create uh, a solid axle on the bottom. Uh, it's just the, again, the 24th tooth gear on one side and the, uh, and, uh, whatever you call that piece. Oh, for crying out loud. It's three o'clock in the morning and I'm tired. So, but, um, actually it's 3.34. <laughs> I should go to sleep soon. Um, but yeah, I couldn't sleep. So I decided to try this. Um, so here we are. Uh, and so you get the train controller, which is the easiest thing to do instead of using batteries. And you come over here and you plug in the capacitor onto the train it's on full speed there you can see it's full speed and you wait until that light flashes and you can see the lights flashing right now so that's that's the capacitor charged now so um basically um <clears throat> really really quick unplug this now uh i tried it both um uh the 24 uh, gear uh, tooth gear on the uh, motor and the eight tooth gear on the axle um it goes fast faster obviously because this is geared down instead of geared up um it goes faster the problem is it only does two loops on the table <laughs> and when you do it this way it goes a lot slower but um so i'll put it here and you turn the steering wheel full uh and then you plug this onto here and uh, plug this way in and there it goes and this is just going to go in circles now for, well, the last time I counted, it was at, at least eight revolutions. Um, it does last a while. I'm, I'm going to say I'm impressed with the capacitor. Um, I always wanted to RC this thing, and I think maybe the power functions can do it. Maybe. Um, I just the, the battery box is just so big. Um I mean, I've seen, I've, I've RCD8448. It was fantastic. Um, it's one of my favorite things I ever did. Um, but I use the, um, when the Jerk Crusher, the uh, RC racers uh, with the big black motor that's really funky looking uh, and just the radio controlled um, controllers. Um, but um, I always wanted to RC this guy and I don't think Lego makes something small enough to RC this one well. Um, but maybe I'll invest in some of the newest line of whatever is replacing power functions. I forget what they called it. They work with the boost and everything else. I'll have a look. Maybe I'll buy that Batman set that's uh, on deep discount right now. <laughs> if they ever open stores again. Um, but yeah, you can see this thing just keeps on going around and around and around. And yeah, you can turn the steering wheel. So I'll let it come around again. And then you can uh, actually just turn the steering wheel. And it'll go straight. For a while, but then it's going to hit the wall. So you just keep on turning the steering wheel. And it goes back to going around in circles. Um, so the capacitor does a good job for a long time. And it, it will push this thing for a while. Uh, again, I remember putting it on the concrete floor and chasing it down uh, one of the aisles uh, at the show. And that was a good walk. I mean, it's a slow walk, obviously, because this thing is very slow. I mean, it's a go-kart. is supposed to go fast. Uh, but the capacitor does not have enough juice to give it enough torque to gear down. Gearing up is perfect. I mean, gear up. Gearing down is perfectly fine. As I say, an 8 tooth to a 24, and this thing is still going around in circles. A 24 to 8 only does two circles, and it doesn't have enough torque or power from the uh, capacitor to make it go around in a third. Uh, but as soon as you lift it up, I mean, the tires will still spin for, it'll keep on going. Um, 
So that's just a little quick video. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do is just experiment. Uh, that's 100% stock unmodified Lego right there. Uh, the capacitor, obviously, we came up with. Um, I just happen to have a few. Um, and the, uh, the 9 volt motors from the uh, RCX and everything else that came out in those bunch of years, 98 to 2000, whatever it was, after that high speed other 9 volt motor that I hardly ever use for anything. Um, this is this was my favorite motor for the longest time, electric motor in Lego, because uh, I, I could build it into everything. Uh, it was very well done. Um, when they break, they break. Uh, and I've, I've had probably half a dozen of those motors break so far. The, the, the magnet and the back just kind of poofs um, for whatever reason, but I got a few, so uh, I don't have to worry about it for a while. Um, but there you go, uh, the 854 moving on its own volition. And uh, maybe at some point, I will see what I can do to actually RC this thing so we can control it. Um, but uh, I thought that was nice. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to go to bed now uh, and try to get some sleep before I have to get up for work in the morning. Um, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Everybody take care.